Good morning, Michael. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not Michael. I am Willy Wonka. Good morning, Mr. Wonka. Here are your messages. Why, thank you very much. <gasps> what are those? What are those? Tell me, please. Jelly beans. No, no, no. They are not just ordinary jelly beans, little girl. These are extraordinary jelly beans. The Willy Wonka golden ticket promotional idea is probably the best idea I have ever had. It's probably the best idea anybody has ever had. Three days ago, I slipped five pieces of gold paper into random paper shipments. This entitles the customer to 10% off of their total order. It will be a day for them that is full of whimsy and full of excitement and full of fantasy. Hey, Tom. What's that? Oh, he found a golden ticket. One of my clients found a golden ticket. Ooh-hoo-hoo! Yeah. La-dee-doo! No, congratulations. Uh, top, top, top. Uh, big, oh! Yeah. Tell yeah, me. I'll take that down right now. Was it a spoiled little girl with big lips on the or an odd little boy with a cowboy obsession? Hold on one sec. Invite them on the tour! Hold on, hold on one sec. It's actually Blue Cross from Pennsylvania. Really? Yep. It's got a big client. Hey, Oscar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, how much of a hit is 10% of our Blue Cross account? 10%? Yeah. They're our largest client. That's yeah. going to hurt. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec, Tom. What's that? You found five golden tickets. And does it say limit one per customer? Nope, it doesn't. How do you not spread out the tickets into different shipments? I thought I did. So... Okay, well, no harm, I'm no going to go call corporate to make sure that they know I didn't lose half my sales. You didn't. That... It'll be fine. It'll be good. Okay, we need a gold ticket idea to get us out of this mess. Yes? Does that mean an idea that blows up in our faces later? Good one. Okay, don't get that. Please. I've got a golden ticket idea. Why don't you skip on up to the roof and jump off? That is not constructive. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Oh, hi, David. He's having a colonoscopy. All right, I'll find out if he's out yet. Hello, David. I just got back from my procedure, so... Michael, what the hell is going on here? How are you doing? Fine. What my is going on? My colonoscopy was an examination of my large colon and the distal part of my small bowel with a camera. Why? Did you okay this golden ticket idea? We're going to lose a fortune, Michael. How could you let this happen? Well, there is an explanation that involves me not letting it happen. And I just don't, I don't know. How could you not know, Michael? I think we might have hired an outside marketing consultant. You might have hired, okay, what firm? You're breaking up. Michael? Okay. I think I'm, it might have been an inside consultant. Was it the sales department? Yes. Was it Jim? No. Okay. Was it Dwight? Yes. You cannot take the fall for him. He said he would do the same for me. He can do the same for you right now, by getting fired instead of you. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go back to work after I write you up for insubordination. There he is. Oh my God. Dwight, Dwight! Get in. What's it gonna be? What are you gonna do? What's it gonna be? Are you gonna do this thing for me? Dwight? Hey, Michael. David, how are you? Good to hey. see you, nice surprise. Yeah. Dwight and I were just having a very unfortunate conversation. Huh. That's too bad. Yes, it is, but it had to be done, didn't it? Hopefully nothing that can't be undone, because Dwight, I owe you an apology. The head of Blue Cross just called. They were so excited by the golden ticket discount that they have decided to make Dunder Mifflin their exclusive provider of all office supplies. Congratulations, Dwight. Mm. David. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I just want to say that this golden ticket idea is one of the most brilliant signs of initiative I've ever seen at this company. And how about a big round of applause for Mr. Dwight Schrute? All right, Dwight. This is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, Dwight, great <laughs> idea. Dwight, Dwight, great idea. How'd you come up with that idea? Inspiration. Really? How did, how are you Never inspired? Never it's gonna strike. How did it pop into your head, Dwight? Just, Just boom. give me the details of how that you're, happened. You're talking to Dwight Schrute, the biggest Wonka fan I know. I mean, you've been talking about that movie for years. What? You know what, I even made fun of you when you dressed up as Willy Wonka to pitch this idea, and for that I apologize. Apology rejected. Thanks so much for helping the company. Oh, okay. Pam. Good work, kid. Thanks, old man. <laughs> this is this is great. Oh. Okay, look, I want to get you on the horn with the marketing people in New York. They great should idea. meet you. Yeah. Pam, could you set up a call in there in about 15 minutes, please? Sure. David? Thank David? Because I've got this idea. David? For, uh, yeah. Could I be part of the meeting also? You probably have too much to do around here. I don't want to take up your time with another meeting. Yeah, let's face was... it, this meeting sounds like it's Wonka fans only. He's never seen the movie. <laughs>